Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, it's just gonna be a good old makeup haul. I have some makeup that I purchased recently from Sephora and also M Cosmetics, and I do also have some skincare. I also have Aries here, if you just heard her making herself known. But I'm gonna share with you what I have picked up recently, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. Let's jump into the Vegas OOTD. So today, Kind of casual. We just have um, my new jean shorts on from Express. I'm very excited. I now own three pairs of shorts, which is great since I live in the desert and it's 108 degrees at the moment. And then just this top, just just like a small little crop top. Have it had it forever. Had it forever. Um, I did do a little bit of filming on this look. I do always link all of my makeup down below if you're curious about anything that I have on. But I have a couple new products that I will be showing you, and I did a little demo of them. I also have like kind of like beachy hair going on. We just did some braids. I don't know. This is just what we're feeling today. Uh, and then I am actually going to draw a card from the deck of Healthy Habits. If you haven't seen, I did launch my own brand and one of the items that I have for sale is the deck of Healthy Habits with 52 cards. And I'm gonna be drawing a card in some of my videos. So I'm filming on Monday and I haven't drawn a card yet. I usually draw a card at the beginning of the week and then usually draw a card at the beginning of the week and then also at the end of the week. Uh, I don't often film on Mondays. Usually I film on Tuesdays, uh, but I have family coming tonight. My mom and my aunt are coming, so I'm gonna pick them up and then spend the day with them, you know, while they're here. And then also, I'm hopefully going to the DMV tomorrow. <laughs> gonna try once again to get my Vegas license but it's a it's a whole thing here but I was able to make an appointment so we will see but let me just go ahead and draw my car oh hmm. it's very interesting to me how I feel like when I draw a card it just makes sense to what I need to do so today's card is declutter and that was actually something that I've been planning to do when my family does come here is like actually like making my office space look like an office I have so much that I need to declutter my living room is still a little bit of a mess like that's something that uh I need to do so that's fun so if you want to declutter also there is your card for the week or if you want to purchase your own deck like I said you can purchase them on my website which is chickletplus.com uh, and I do always have that link down below that is the deck of healthy habits I am going to be having a restock this week when's this video going up Tuesday I will be having a restock this week so stay tuned if you're not following me yet on Instagram I post a lot over there March beauty word I post on my community tab also or I do have a newsletter as well where I put out updates and that link is in my description box also. But I got all my boxes in so I'm just getting everything ready for the restock. Building boxes like the shipping boxes and adding everything into the Shopify website. So okay let's jump into the haul. So first up I'll start with what I purchased from Sephora. So what is on my face? I did pick up from Danessa Myricks. This is her contour balm. So I got the shade Light 2. I have wanted this for such a long time. I really like the, the Danessa Myricks brand. I haven't tried a ton from them. I have her liquid blush. Uh, it's I think you can use it for eyes, lips, and cheeks. I use it as a blush. And I really do like that. And then I have one of her... Um, eye products as well uh, like a green eye product that I got in a Beautylish bag but when I saw that she was coming out with this balm contour I was immediately interested in it and then it didn't come to Sephora like Danessa Myricks came into Sephora and I was like yes gonna buy that balm contour but this didn't come in but it finally did and someone tagged me on it and was like it's finally at Sephora and I said I'm gonna go ahead and buy it so I do have it on my face today and I've been wearing it quite a bit recently again I do have the demo on my Instagram if you'd want to see it so far so good I've probably used it like three or four times now uh, so I've been really enjoying it I find it really easy to blend uh, it looks like too looks to be a good shade match for me but so far so good I am really into cream products so I'm excited that I have this one from Danessa Myricks and then also on my face if you caught my last, was it my last video? The uh, PR that I'm glad that I didn't purchase myself. I'm wearing both of these products too. And I said I wasn't gonna tell you what I was wearing as a highlight because I wanted you to check the description box. And it was funny to read some of the comments like, you really bought that one? Because, I mean, I said that I was interested but I kind of talked myself out of it but then I kind of talked myself back into it and then I bought it. This is from Melt Cosmetics and this is their sex foil. 
So I'm just waiting to get demonetized now. So that's going to be great. I ended up picking up the shade Stargazer. So it's the Sex Foil Digital Liquid Highlight. Why it's called Sex Foil, I don't know. We had a lot of good guesses uh, in, in, in the Will I Buy It where we talked about it. A lot of good guesses that came through. Uh, so here is what, what is it, Stargazer? Here's what this one looks like. So I have to say, I do think that it swatches beautifully. Like I said, I have it on my cheeks today. I feel like I really have to build it up, which sometimes it can be that way with liquid highlights. I don't know. I just, I felt like when I was seeing these, they looked so, cause I, I usually like a little bit more of a blinding highlight and they just looked so beautiful. And I saw some videos of it and I felt like people were liking it. To me, I just, I feel like I have to build it up more than I want to. When I first, like you saw how much I pumped out, that was pretty much what I did the first time I went to use it. And I was like, whoa, whoa, Samantha, that is way too much. And I took my damp sponge, which is also how I apply the contour. I took my damp sponge and I really patted it around my hand and then put it on. And I was like, oh, wait, I don't feel like I see anything. And so I kept building. Then I had to pump more out. Usually to do like one, like one cheekbone, I do two pumps for each side. I feel like that's a lot. Anyone else picked up? the sex foil. I will be reviewing everything. I come back to follow up all of my hauls once I've actually tried them out a bit more, but I was waiting on uh, my package from M Cosmetics got misshipped, so it took a while to get to me. So I started using the products, you know, figuring I might as well just try them from Sephora. And I just, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about this one. Like it's, it is pretty. I just, I don't know. I feel like I have to really take my time and build it up. So I'm curious if any of you have gotten the, uh, the, se <laughs> the sex foil. I was gonna, Okay, in my mind, I, in my, how do I say this? In my mind, I was gonna say, I'm curious if any of you have got the sex and then like my brain like stopped working and I was like, keep going. So, like you can't stop at that because then the comment section is gonna be really weird. We don't have to, we don't have to know that about each other if we don't want to, okay? I was just wondering if you got the liquid highlight. <laughs> Also from Sephora, I picked up a new Laneige lip sleeping mask. I love these. I go through these all the time. I always have them. They came out with a new scent, I guess. This is the peach iced tea. And I'm just about out of mine, which is the purple one. I always blank on the name. Is it like gummy bear or something? Like it's something kind of weird. Uh, but I really, really enjoy these and I'm excited to use this. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. That smells really good. Ooh, I like that. So yeah, I just needed a refill of this one because I'm like scraping at the bottom of mine and I decided to go, like I, I've used the original, the gummy bear now, and then I, don't, I just thought it was fun that this was the peach iced tea and it does come with a little, I'm gonna show you, it does come with its little applicator in here too. So I just picked up a new one of those from Laneige. And then I did get some skincare. So a lot of you have recommended this line to me because I do deal with hormonal acne. I had it under control for quite some time and it's just recently making a comeback and I'm very flustered by it because I didn't, like I don't know what I've done to upset it. I know a lot of people said stress with the brand and everything and, and getting everything launched and, and working all that out, which definitely was very, very stressful. Um, I don't know, I just, I feel like I can't get it under control though. So I decided to go ahead and purchase, here is the box. This is from Dr. Zenobia. Uh, it says hormonal dermatology. So this is the clear complexion acne solutions uh, system proven to clear blemishes and help balance acne prone skin. So there's three different products that you get in here. Uh, so we have the 10% uh, benzoyl peroxide acne cleanser, which is a, a very large size. It says removes excess sebum, impurities, and buildup. And then we also have the 5% benzoyl peroxide acne spot treatment, reduces acne flare-ups and redness. And then there is also a moisturizer, and this is the aloe vera blemish soothing moisturizer with squalene and antioxidants, which I do really like squalene. It says oil-free hydration to soothe redness on acne prone skin. So these are the three products. So I've been using these consistently now for, since I started, when did I start? Five, six days ago, something like that. I haven't really noticed any sort of a difference. I'm still waking up every single day with a new breakout, two to three new breakouts sometimes, all around um, like my chin and my jawline area. So I don't know, I'm gonna, you know, 
I'm gonna keep using it and keep trying it. You know, you don't always see results like immediately, even though I was kind of hoping that I would. But uh, a lot of people have recommended this brand to me because they are kind of specifically geared towards hormonal acne. So I figured I might as well give it a try. One thing that I will say, benzoyl peroxide, that's an, an ingredient that I've tried a lot with my acne and usually I get along with it pretty well, except it can be very drying. So especially doing a cleanser, follow, like a 10% followed by a 5%, I noticed, um, starting to get some dry patches but even like my eyelids are very sensitive and now i have very very dried out eyelids and like around my eyes are very dry and it's not like i'm putting like i'm not like rubbing the benzoyl peroxide around my eye area but like when i wash it off it's just something that happens it happens in the past with other benzoyl peroxide uh, uh products that i've tried to use so i i was doing the cleanse it says you can use am and pm so i was using the cleanser in the morning followed by the treatment followed by the moisturizer followed by my spf of course now i've tried to cut back where if i use the cleanser i don't use the spot treatment if i don't use the cleanser i'll use the spot and i'm trying not to use both just because i've noticed my skin drying out that area around my eyelids drying out but i haven't really noticed anything with the actual acne so i'm like i don't know we'll see we'll see and this is kind of weird. I went to try to find the price for this and now I don't see this on the Sephora website. That's where I bought it from though. I want to say it was like $39 or something like that. And the cleanser is really large. The moisturizer is pretty small uh, and the spot treatment is, you know, kind of in the middle, but I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to keep using it for a while, see if I notice anything with it. And then, you know, I'll definitely come back to update, but curious if any of you have tried Dr. Zenobia, any of the products or uh, this kit in particular. I'll just finish off with the skincare since we are talking about it. So one, this is a Sam Squad made me buy it. I've been asking for vitamin C recommendations and so many of you recommended this one. And this is from Timeless Skincare. Have I mentioned this yet in a haul? Pardon me if I have, please forgive me. Um, but just in case I haven't, I'll mention it. The Timeless Skincare, this has 20% vitamin C, ferulic acid, vitamin E. Uh, let's see, it's an antioxidant to even skin tone and help build collagen. I purchased this from the Target website. They don't actually have it in Target stores, which made me really sad because I go to Target like every three days. But I did purchase it uh, online and I believe it was $20. And like I said, so many of you have recommended it. What's interesting to me is that it's super, super liquidy, which is not what I was expecting. Like I, I think I was thinking more of like a serum or a gel or something like that, but it comes out just like straight liquid. So sometimes I have to be a little bit careful because it'll like slip through my fingers and like all that stuff. But I have been using it in the AM. I really like having vitamin C in my skincare routine. I think it's good for anti-aging and all of those good things, dark spots, all of that. So yeah, I, uh, I bought this one recently, so I've been testing it out. I will definitely give a review when I can, but thank you to everyone who recommended that. And then the next purchase that I got, this was on a recommendation from Penn Smith Skincare. I recently was like binge watching so many like videos from like last year. Um, I just like binge watched like 20 in a row. And she had recommended this product and in particular um, an ingredient. So this is from Derma E, which I haven't tried a ton of their skincare. I've dabbled a little bit with it, but I know I hear a lot about the brand. I see people talking a lot about the brand. But from Derma E, this is the Firming DMAE Serum. Serum. So it looks like so. This was so hard to get. I ended up purchasing it on the Bed Bath & Beyond website. It was sold out on Amazon. I couldn't find it on the Derma E website. Uh, I think it was available at Walmart. It was sold out there. Somehow I found it at Bed Bath & Beyond. I thought that was super random, but I got it. It took forever to ship, but I finally got it. This is the Alpha Lipoic Acid Vitamin C Ester and Botanical Blends. It says, feel firmly lifted. This silky concentrated DMAE facial treatment helps support healthy texture and tone for visibly firmer, more lifted looking skin. So I'm 34. I now live in the desert. I'm in the sun all the time. I'm very concerned about anti-aging. I'm very concerned about wrinkles, fine lines. I'm very concerned about my face just... I'm I'm very much looking into anti-aging. I will link uh, Penn's video down below because she's so knowledgeable. She's a professional. Like she knows what she's talking about. I don't want to like misspeak on what it is that she said, but she was talking about the DMAE, which you know stands for a really long word that I won't even try to pronounce. But she was saying just like how amazing it is for firming and for lifting. So I purchased this one. Like I just got this recently because it took so long to ship to me, um, and I'm really you know concentrating it on my face and also my neck because I have like my neck is really like everything's bothering me these days. Okay, let's be serious. <laughs> ah! 
so I've been really uh, concentrating on my neck also with this one but I'm excited to try it out especially when I saw that it was sold out everywhere because like I said Penn's video was from last year like I'm pretty sure it was from at least last year if not like eight months ago or something and uh, so for it to still be sold out I was like interesting but if I can find it I will link you know anything that I'm talking about down below but maybe it'll still be available at Bed Bath & Beyond so I will definitely link it Okay, and then I have one more skincare product. I don't know if you can tell that I'm like hella concerned about skincare at the moment, but I am. Uh, so this one came off a recommendation. When I say I was like binging skincare videos, not only Penn, but I found a video from Wayne Goss. And it was like his anti-aging night routine or something, an anti-aging skin, skincare routine, something like that. And it was a sponsored video and it was sponsored by the brand Derm Dermedica, Dermedica, I think is how it was pr uh, pronounced. And I mean, I love sponsorships. I'm all of like, hey, yeah, I'm all for that. Okay. So when he started talking more about it, I was like, okay. And you know, I'm like listening to him, like listening to what he has to say and looking at his face and looking at his photos. And I'm hearing about this brand and how they work. And I was like, I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot. <laughs> so this is, like I said, Dermedica is how it's pronounced. It says healthy skin through science. So it is kind of more of like a membership base, but they do have a free trial in the beginning so what happens is like you sign up you create your profile you take pictures of your skin you send it in um i think it's like three different photos like full on and then like to the side and everything and you send in your photos uh and then you also have to take a questionnaire of just what your skin is like problem areas uh if you're on any prescriptions if you've tried any prescriptions in the past it's you know a, a pretty detailed questionnaire that you go through and then they look at your photos they look at your profile they look at your age they look at you know all the different factors that you put in there and then they create uh your own product for you like i said like you can get billed you know however t every two months or three months or whatever it is that you end up needing it for so um that I found really interesting. So it says, here's your personal prescription skin, your personal prescription skin treatment. Restore your skin's natural clarity with this clinically proven medication. And Wayne was saying that it is really good for acne and then also anti-aging, the fine lines, like firmness, things like that. So what mine says, uh, like it has like an actual um, like RX label on here. So the tretinoin, tretinoin, if I'm saying that correctly, at 0.025%. Niacinamide at 4% and clindamycin at 1%, which I have used that in the past. So it says apply one to two pumps to the whole face daily at night. It has the prescriber on here, the doctor's name, filled by the quantity, the RX number, date, fil date filled, RX date, all of that. It does also have a little scan here. It says you can scan this code to know more about your ingredients uh, and the formula and information on them. So I'm just really curious about this. Um, I, I, you know, I purchased the Dr. Zenobia first and then I was like, I don't know, should I do the <laughs> Dermatica too? I mean, I'm not gonna use them at the same time. I don't think that's a good idea. I'm gonna keep trying the Dr. Zenobia for right now, but I have the Dermatica for when I'm ready to a try, ready to try. I'm gonna try it out. I don't have anything to go off of yet. I actually just got this in because it took, you know, just a little bit for them to analyze everything and put everything together, but I'm excited to give it a try. I don't know. I just, I feel like I just want something to help and Wayne just had really good things to say about it and, you know, if it works, that would be amazing if it's kind of like going to a dermatologist but not actually going to a dermatologist just I don't know we will see so I will link them down below I think they're a UK based company but you can order if you're in the UK and then also the US so once again I'll link it down below I was saying in one of my recent will I buy it videos that I have really wanted to try M cosmetics for a while and she came out with a new collection recently and I was like you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and make a purchase and finally try out this brand um, I have tried the liquid liner I got a liquid liner and like a little gift package from a friend uh, but I wanted to try a few more items. So I can't even remember what I ordered because I was like, there were so many things that I wanted, but they were all like the same things, like a liquid blush and then the cream blush. And that like, and I was like, do I really need all of this? Like get it, you know, pull yourself together, Samantha. So what I ended up getting, I did get one of the new So Soft blushes in Venetian Rose. Oh, also because I placed my Sephora order the same day and I got the Danessa Myricks contour. I was like, should I really also buy another cream bronze? You know me, I'm having issues right now. But the So Soft Blush in Venetian Rose. Okay, so this is what I ended up going with. I, like I said, I went back and forth between this and the liquid blush, but I'm, I'm better with cream products than I am with liquid. So I figured maybe this would be a good way to go. So this is Venetian Rose. Ooh, that's really pretty. 
Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm excited to try that out. I really like the packaging. It's very cute. All right. And then I also got a new lip liner. This is the Soft Blur Velvet Lip Liner. And I got the shade Kitten. I love lip liners. Love them. So figured this, this made sense. Like why not try a lip liner? Once again, really nice packaging. Go ahead and swatch. Oh yeah. So just kind of more like a pinky nude. Perfect. I mean, that would make a really pretty lipstick too. I don't know. Can you use that on your lips? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but that's pretty. So I got Kitten. And then a lot of people recommended this to me and I was a little unsure, but I decided to go ahead and do it because I saw it pop up in my comments quite a bit. So this is the Daydream Cushion Perfect and Protect Broad Spectrum SPF 50. But it's like a foundation. I'm like, okay, let me tell you. Perfect and protect your complexion with the serum infused tinted cushion. So it's like a tinted SPF. Sheer buildable formula provides a hint of color to enhance skin tone and diffuse imperfections. Refreshing micronutrient complex enriched with niacinamide, snow mushroom extract, papaya fruit extract, green tea extract, rice extract, and goji berry extract, extract to help hydrate and refine skin's texture. I had a pretty hard time deciding which uh, shade to go with, but when you open it up, looks like so and then you have and this is what the product looks like and then it does come with a little sponge so i'm just gonna lightly tap the sponge in here and see i don't know can we see a shade match if i do that because i mean it's supposed to be i guess maybe if it's blending into my hand really well then then it'll be a good thing i ended up going with does it tell me? I went with Sweet Secret, which is medium tan. Because my, I mean, my face is definitely lighter than my body, but my body is getting pretty tan. I'm outside quite a bit. So I don't know, that's what I ended up going with. I'm curious to try it out because I, I'm a freak about SPF. Like I'm 100%, I'm an absolute freak about SPF. I'm always wearing it. And so if this would give me like a little tint also, kind of like a tinted moisturizer with SPF, I don't know. And like I said, I saw it popping up in my comment section, so I thought I would go for it. Uh, what is this? This is Daydream. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's another one? It comes with a refill? Wait, did I know that? Oh, it comes with a... Did I? I... Do they all come that way? I don't know if I knew that, but um, that's interesting. So yeah, just like another little one comes like this and came in this bag. Okay. That's pretty cool, because from what I remember, there was a time years ago when cushion foundations were really big, and I was trying them, and I felt like I would go through them so quickly, or like they would just dry up quicker than normal, or you like couldn't, you know, you could start to like not get the product as easily. But I'm gonna try it out, I'm excited about it. I'm gonna go in with an open mind. Once again, would love to know if you've tried that from M Cosmetics, but that's pretty cool that it comes with a refill also, so. Pretty sweet. Uh, like I said, I will have everything linked down below if there's anything that you're interested in. I would love to hear your comments, of course. But that is it for this haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing some makeup and skincare that I picked up recently. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.